All right, so we're back with another five minute rebuild and I'm not too sure the team yet as I'm like recording this It's gonna be a like on the fly decision. You guys are already gonna know who it is based on the thumbnail and the title But you guys seem to like these um, They're a little quick rebuilds I'll try to keep it a little bit shorter than the 19 minutes that I did in yesterday's video if you did miss that though What, what are you doing? It's on screen now. I'll put a link to it above me as well Go and give it a watch but today we're gonna do another five minute rebuild and i figured it was something that was a little bit different it would still kind of fit that rebuild theme and give us something to watch or something to have on the channel until the new game comes out so that being said let's hop into this if you do enjoy it thumbs up down below subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoy the content and as always in the comment section let me know the next team we should do this like speed rebuild on um twitter instagram snapchat in the description down below and a couple of you guys mentioned that i probably shouldn't count like maneuvering the lineup or the pitching rotation or sending players between the minors and the majors as part of the five minutes and i kind of do agree with you because i spent like half the time last time on making sure the lineup and stuff was set up so we're just going to focus on trades and free agency signings for the five minutes so let's let's hop into this who are we gonna do today um you know what a lot of you guys have been asking for some sort of giants rebuild so let's do it let's do a giants rebuild today so let's take a look at this team see what we can do with it um i don't really know budget wise we gotta get rid of some of this stuff like longoria cozart i'm pretty sure cozart was was uh released let me double check because a lot of you guys were on me about odubo herrera being uh, still on the Phillies, but if you think about it, there is no way he's coming back to play in the majors I don't really see him ever getting another chance and Zach Cozart is a free agent So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of Cozart now and We're just gonna move From there, but like you saw there were some pretty big contracts We definitely got to move around that like these two guys even Kevin Gosman's kind of got a, a big contract So we might need to move that one as well uh, Pitching wise, relief, they actually got some glitchy players. So I think I'd be okay with just leaving it unless we really get a good like reliever trade. Catcher, Buster Posey's good. Brandon Belt is not a terrible option at first. Wilmer Flores, kind of the same thing, not a terrible option at second. Third base is where I want to improve on. Evan Longoria, I feel like we could do a little bit better. Brandon Crawford, we'll see. It's not on the top of my list, but I think third base and center field are the two areas i want to focus on the most even right field with hunter pence isn't terrible so maybe get a little bit better starting pitcher third base and center field i think that's like my main concern so is there anybody here who i could bring in that would like just be like a great one season pickup to help us out what about center field no third base no all right so let's make a trade let's focus on Let's see if we can get like a really good third baseman and get rid of Evelongoria's contract. Who would be kind of like a cheaper option to get? Eduardo Escobar would be great. Ooh, Eugenio Suarez. Ooh, he's gonna be a lot. Okay, that that's not possible. Who else would be a good option? I don't think Chris Bryant's gonna be attainable either. Jonathan VR is not a bad one. That kind of gives us a good leadoff hitter. But let's see who else could we get that would be like, yes, that's a really good pickup. Let's go. Did I just see Gio Urshela 86? Interesting. 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 Like for sure. That's a, a little high there. Um, let's go Eduardo Escobar. And then, boom. Nope. Boom. That's our trade. All right. First trades in the books. I'm going to get the timer set up. Uh, I just had it out. So we're going to start it in three, two, one, go. All right. So we got five minutes now. And that that's our third baseman. I'm just kind of looking to see center field. Um, got to double check. Billy Hamilton. It's like, I just, ew. You know, definitely could get a little bit better. Let's try to find center fielders. Who is different from the one that we had yesterday? Because we had George Springer yesterday. So I definitely want to get someone a little bit different. Uh, Brandon Nimbo would be great, which I saw he had some like cardiac issue that they're they're checking on with the Mets now. Like that was that was interesting to see in the news. What about Ender Inciarte? 
it's not like oh wow that's an amazing signing but that might be someone that is not going to cost too much to get this trade done and there's our new center fielder so far so good i think he's going to be the leadoff guy yeah perfect and then looking at the rest that's not a bad hitter let's try to find a little bit of a better pitching staff starting pitcher so looking at these guys Ooh, uh let's get rid of kevin gosman first because i feel like we can get someone that's kind of a, a glitchy pitcher that's kind of similar to him um that's just a little bit better so who is that gonna be mike minor i feel like that's kind of the safe option let's go with someone we normally don't get i saw a comment marco gonzalez let's give him a shot let's see what we can do with him what about sean anderson We'll hold on to that. Tyler Beatty will hold on to that too, just in case we need to make the trade. Marco Gonzalez is our next option. What do we got? 320 left. All right. So I definitely feel like what do we got here? We'll go like that. I'm just I'm just moving things around just so I can get an idea of what we're working with. I guess we could use one more reliever, like one more really good reliever, and try to get rid of one of these guys because we don't need both. Um, definitely not necessary so let's try to find one more good reliever steve c-shack would be great uh he's normally pretty good greg holland huh let's see who else would be decent to get mark Melanson for a season uh this is pretty tough i'm trying to figure this out seth lugo i'd be down to try try to get seth lugo into the team he'd be a really good like setup or something Helio Ramos is a little bit too much so let's not give away like the whole the whole squad what if we're where are we at like two minutes two minutes what if it's crazy it's crazy how's a med Rosario not terrible and a little bit out of our range so that's that's not gonna happen I was gonna say what if we just get a med Rosario but all right let's find All right, we're, we're just going to have to give up someone that I wasn't expecting to, but it's fine. Boom, there's a new bullpen arm for us. And then let's take one more quick look. Just kind of looking at it. I like the team, and I'm thinking maybe move Smarja just in case. Let's let's keep the timer out. We got a minute 40 left. It keeps it, The screen keeps closing. That's why I keep saying uh, let's get it out. So let's take a look. Let's keep Cueto. Let's go smart. Well... Let's go a new five. Let's just really strengthen this team. And then maybe, actually, I don't even know anymore. I feel like the starting rotation isn't terrible. Let's see if we can get like one more glitchy bullpen arm. Just really solidify the bullpen. And I feel like if we do that, then we, sh we should be set, right? Brandon Morrow for a season. Not a bad option. Un just under a minute. What about Luis Toribio? Nope. Ooh, that was a little bit too much. Uh, Canario, nope. Uh, Tristan Beck, nope. Anybody here? Anybody at all? You want any of these guys? Brandon Beachy, perfect. All right, bullpen is set, 100%. And then we got 45 seconds. Maybe make one more, one more big move. Do we have the time? 35 seconds, just about 35 seconds. So center field. D. Wait. What's this going to be? We'll figure it out. I just want to know what this is. Third base. Who did we get for third base? Eduardo Escobar, to be honest. I like the team. Maybe a right fielder. Can we do a right fielder in like two seconds? Uh, boom. There it is. With five seconds to spare, that's our new right fielder. I know it's not the, the best but some power we'll take it we'll take it we'll see how it works so let me get the lineup situated it shouldn't take too long at all we'll just go like that um definitely got some pop off the bat i like it uh we'll put ender inciarte here eduardo escobar here and rock like that offensively it's not as good as i initially thought but I can I can get behind this team. I think the pitching is really gonna carry the team. So let's let's move this. Will Myers can go there. Eduardo Escobar comes in here. 
and then yeah just kind of rock like that i like the team i like it a lot i think we did a pretty good job i gotta get this all situated all right so there's that and then swap those two ender and crt is our leadoff guy boom 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 will myers can move up a little bit boom yeah it's it's not the flashiest of teams but i like it i think we did a, a pretty solid job especially with the bullpen i think the bullpen is really going to carry us starting pitching looks pretty solid and uh let's take let's take a look let's see how this season plays out so there we are i'll see you guys at the end of the season all right so as you guys can see just barely kind of sneaking in the corner it says we made the postseason at 91 and 71 so a little bit different than what happened what in the last video where the wild card team won like 80 games and made it to the wild card so 91 and 71 we're the 20th ranked team and we still made the postseason so um uh, man sorry i'm super congested right now allergies are hitting me so hard but uh, we got the second place in the wild card no league leaders uh wilmer flores just missed out on the batting title um Let's see anybody else kind of up there a couple a couple here and there but like nothing too crazy let's take a look at awards uh mvp was castellanos and bregman verlander and degrom were cy young and with the batting title and reliever of the year so batting title went to polanco and ryan presley was the al reliever of the year who struggled on that one so let's take a look pitching wise pretty happy that we kept cueto and samarja both did pretty solid Derek Rodriguez did well. Um, Marco Gonzalez, pretty good. All right. Uh, thanks to whoever left the comment. I can't remember your name, but I saw the comment to go for Marco Gonzalez, and, and uh, it proved to work out. Andrew Suarez, okay as a five. Uh, Drew Smiley, pretty solid as a long reliever. And then when you look at our bullpen, that's that's what I was looking for. Uh, really solid. So you guys can see I kind of switched up who was where. Looking at it, I saw Trevor got, and his control was a little bit low. And I figured going with someone with a little bit better control was going to be a little bit better in the like closer role. Just uh, that's what that was my reasoning. So that's why I went with Lugo as a closer, Moro as a setup guy, and then the rest were the bullpen arms. So besides Gott and Maranta, pretty solid pitching all across the board. So really happy with that. Looking at our lineup, pretty abysmal, pretty abysmal. But uh, Ender and Ciarte had a three or three a two eighty six average with the 335 on base percentage 40 doubles 27 stolen bases that's a leadoff hitter right there for you brandon belt hit 316 with 24 home runs and a 920 ops eduardo escobar not great a 240 average 28 home runs 29 doubles not a terrible season but you would hope for a little bit better will myers not as good as i would have hoped either so that was a disappointing trade as well uh wilmer flores 326 922 OPS, 28 home runs, 30 doubles. All right. Mike, Yastr Mike Yastrzemski hit 281. No, 241. 37 doubles, though. 25 home runs. Not terrible. Hunter Pence hit 226. Buster Posey hit 241. And Brandon, Craw Brandon Crawford hit 278. All right. I'll take it. Uh, overall, pretty happy with the team. Like I said, we didn't make like the flashiest of trades or anything, but it worked out. You know, definitely if I would have thought about it a little bit more i would have gone for someone at right field a little bit better i feel like we could have definitely gotten someone a little bit better but uh overall really happy with the team and uh, i think we did the right thing with the the squad so playoff game here we go let's quick manage it let's see how it goes we're at sun trust cueto's gonna take the mound for us who would have thought johnny cueto in the postseason once again and uh we already got the one nothing lead so Buster Posey went deep. Are you serious? He doesn't do that anymore. He's he's feeling it. And we're already up 4-0 against the Braves who have Vlad Jr. Are you serious? Okay. They went all out this uh, this season picking up Vlad Jr. apparently. So, all right. So far, so good though. 5 nothing. And uh, Cueto is pitching a gem. He is on fire right now as i say that he allows three runs but i'm gonna let him go through five he's done after that or do we go for six we're, we're not gonna go for six we're gonna take him out uh let's go let's go nick vincent double play it allows one more but we get out of the inning Will flores goes deep six to four and uh what oh you gotta be kidding me what happened 
Nick Vincent, you let us down. So we're down two now. Brandon Crawford brings us within one. All right. Yikes. Uh, what's going to happen here? Another run score. So we're down two heading into the ninth. All right. That's a good start. A double. A fly out, though. Ground out. We had a huge lead. Huge lead. And it just... Oh, it just disappeared. <sighs> what? No way. Well, there's the head, I guess. Oh, man. Let's take a look who wins. I can't believe that just happened. The Dodgers were defeated by the Red Sox. Okay, so absolutely baffled there but that's how it ends like oh the pitching let us down and that looked like our best part of the team i can't believe that just happened but i hope you guys enjoyed the giants five minute rebuild if you did thumbs up down below that's the easiest way for me to know that you guys are enjoying these types of videos if you guys have a team that you want me to do for the next one let me know in the comment section and that's about it guys i hope you did enjoy it if you're new to the channel and you did enjoy it, hit that subscribe button and uh yeah Two videos on screen go and give them a watch if you haven't seen them my most recent and also one that youtube recommends you check out and in the description are all my social media links twitter instagram and snapchat go and give them a follow if you haven't yet i'll catch you all in the next video peace